and welcome to our video. My name is Christian Wagner from Malo, an engineering company located in Bavaria, Germany. Malo is one of the worldwide leading manufacturers of measuring, control and automation systems for the textile and finishing industry, as well as the coating, film and paper sector. For example, we produce automatic weft straighteners or process control for stenter frames used in textile finishing. Furthermore, traversing quality control systems for coating and converting of webs, which measure and control basis weight, thickness, moisture and other parameters. We have everything in store from big machines to small held meters. The latter is exactly what I want to present to you today, Marlow's Textometer TMB15. The Textometer DMB15 is a portable handy device which determines moisture of webs and bobbins, raw materials and semi-finished products. The Textometer DMB15 is small, lightweight and portable and therefore ready wherever needed. Via touchscreen you can operate the device quickly and intuitively. In battery mode you can measure over 5 hours. Stored data can be transmitted to a PC via USB. But enough promotion for now. What I really want to show you today is the handling of and the measuring with a special electrode. The so-called special bale electrode for measuring hard pressed fiber bales made of cotton and whiskers. What do we need to do this? Firstly, a textometer DMB15, which I have here. Secondly, the special bale electrode that consists of two 500 mm long special drills. One socket wrench to drill and a connection cable. And last but not least, our hard pressed bale. So, wie gehen wir vor? What's next? With the help of the socket wrench, you have to screw in both drills parallel, approximately 100 mm apart from each other. Important here is that the drills can be screwed in the sides or the end faces of the hard press bale. Don't do this from the upper side because there you would only tear apart the fiber composite and rip out chunks of the bale. It's not possible to drill into it that way. So, das probieren wir jetzt mal. Well, let's give it a try. We take one drill electrode and the socket wrench and drill into the bale from the front. Position it and drill with light pressure. Ansetzen und hineinbohren. Das geht mit dem The socket wrench works, but there's no fun at all. That's why I got myself a little helper. I would recommend that to you as well. Just take a cordless driller clamp in the drill and you're good. Und hineinbohren. So, now the drills are secured in their spot. Next, we take the measuring cable and connect both plugs from the cable with the socket on the electrodes. Then, using the bayonet lock, we connect the other end of the cable to our gauge, the textometer DMB15. We switch on the gauge by pressing the power button. It only takes a few moments and the device is ready. If you switch it on for the first time, you will start at the main screen. Otherwise, you always start in the last menu or screen where you turned off the device. So, the device is running now. We see the main screen. 
The language set here is English, but there are several European languages as well as Chinese to choose from. On this screen you can see the buttons Test Mode, Memory and Settings. We will choose Test Mode for the measuring we are going to do in a minute. Für die Einstellung. Der Testmodus, Test Mode, ist die Wahl für die Messung, die wir gleich machen werden. Im Menü In the menu item Memory, you can display the stored data, transfer it to a PC or delete it. In the menu item Settings, you can configure language, power management, display or system settings. Now we choose test mode and get to the menu for measuring. Here you can select what you want to measure. Textile, flock standard or flock DIN. In the measuring configuration you can individually change all settings of the menu items above. Kann man alle Einstellungen zu den oberen Menüpunkten einzeln einnehmen. Das überspringen wir hier. We skip that for now and select Test Textile. At that, we see the screen for testing and the device is already measuring. Here, it's the correct material because I had already preset viscos beforehand because the bale is made of viscos. As you can see, the hard pressed bale has a moisture content of 13.6%. What can we see on that screen and what can we do here? Actually everything you need for textile testing. You can configure it everything on this screen. Let's start with the upper right corner. Here the time is displayed. If you press here you can set time and date. You see these are not only display values but also touch surfaces. Press OK, then you see the time settings. OK again and we are back where we've started on the test screen. Beneath the time display is the battery indicator which shows the remaining capacity. If the charger is plugged you can see the charging animation. Left to the time display you see M0. It represents the memory bank of the Textometer DNV15. Right now I am storing my values in memory bank number 0. The device can store about 10,000 measured values and can manage 100 memory banks at max. Everything else is flexible. So for example I can save 100 measured values in 100 memory banks or 200 values in 50 memory banks within the maximum storage amount, just as you like it. When I push here, I see my memory bank zero. Here, 16 measured values have already been stored. I press the arrow button up and hop to memory bank one. I confirm my choice with OK. Now, memory bank one is active and I store my data here by pressing save. As you can see, the number of values in the memory bank is increasing. Below that, we see the measurement display. And that is really just a display and not a button. Unter der Messwertanzeige sieht man die Speicherntastfläche hier in Englisch. Below the measurement display, you see the save button by which I can file my measured values in the memory bank as we have seen before. To the left is the back button. With that button we can change back to the previous menu. When I push test textile again, I get back to the test screen. Above the back button you can see the preset fiber. In this case, with codes. If you push here, you can select your fiber type. Different fibers are available. The currently selected is underlined. 
verfügbar, die aktuell ausgewählte ist unterstrichen. If we had selected a fiber blend, for example with coarse cotton, we would see the set mixing ratio. For example, 25% with coarse and 75% cotton. Above the fiber type there is a C with the number 1.00 beneath. That's the calibration factor that can be modified in 0.01 steps from a value of 0.8 to 1.2. The measured value is then multiplied with the preset factor and shows the result. This comes handy when you have discovered a deviation, for example in the lab, and you know exactly that you have to add 10% to the measured value of whiskers. In this case, I set the calibration factor to 1.1 and the desired value is displayed. To the right you can see the damping factor D. It dampens the displayed value, for example when you have quickly alternating values. It can be modified in single steps from 0 to 9. If used, an average value is displayed. To turn off the device, just press the on-off button a bit longer until the dialog shutdown system pops up. Confirm with OK and the device shuts down. Well, that was a short presentation of the portable moisture gauge Textometer DMB15 by Marlow, as well as a how to use of our special bale electrode for hard pressed fiber bales. I hope you liked our video and you have learned something new today. Feel free to leave comments or questions, or send an email to info at marlow.com. This is Christian Wagner from Malo. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Or, as we say it here in Bavaria, Servus.